Hello everyone, uh, my name is Earl. I live on the eastern coast of the state of North Carolina in the United States of America. Uh, tonight I'd like to be talk about a couple of things that uh, amputees, uh, BK amputees go through and some of the things I have found help me a lot. Uh, the first off are these Cerebon uh, exercise bands. They come in a pack of three. Uh, I do get most of my stuff from eBay uh, or through uh, Amazon.com. But I am not sponsoring either of them and I am not sponsored by any products. Uh, if I ever do get to do a, a sponsored product, I will let you know what the product is, I will show you, I will tell you about what I can find out about it. Uh, when you order the Saraband uh, band, you can see here there's a red and a green and I have a blue in my hand. The red is the very weakest of uh, is the weakest of the bands. Uh, it's not much stronger than uh, the stretchy bands you might get from Walmart in their uh, exercise department. Uh, the green band is about two to three times stronger than the red band. Uh, what I use is the blue band. Uh, it has approximately four times the strength of the green band and what I do I take this and I double uh, I double it twice in other words flat fold once fold twice so I have four uh, layers that gives me a pretty decent workout as far as my arms my uh, transtibial amputations. Uh, I do have both legs amputated just below the knee. Uh, another product I like is the ProCare uh, adult washcloth. Uh, you can rinse these, rinse after these or not. Uh, normally I don't. Um, normally I don't rinse these afterwards unless I've got like a dead skin build up or something like that. Now, from time to time in my videos you will hear me cough or see me cough. I do apologize for that uh, in advance as I have COPD plus uh, several other physical ailments such as uh, peripheral artery disease. Um, I'm a type 2 diabetic, hence why I have a double amputation. Uh, both feet and ankles necrotted. Uh, my left one was overnight. Uh, my first one, my right leg, uh, I actually went like two months from the time my foot started getting sore until I actually went and saw a doctor and that was because it was starting to abscess on the underside of my metatarsal arch. Uh, eh, I'm not one for doctors generally. <coughs> that has changed in the past year. My first amputation was July 27, 2022. Uh, discharged out of the hospital the 1st of August, like August 2nd or 3rd maybe. I think it was August 2nd. My second amputation on my right leg, uh, I had uh, infected bone. Uh, my leg had actually, after walking about, I had already gotten my right prosthetic uh, Walking about any more than 30 feet felt like my left leg became concrete. 
Uh, that was due to peripheral artery disease, plus I had uh, infection in the bone marrow and it was slowly spreading. Uh, I did have my left leg amputated in May. Uh, it's now August, obviously. Um, no, July 30th, my mistake. Um, some of the things I've had to learn how to do is to cook uh, for myself. Uh, let me back up a little bit and I'll show you my wheelchair some. It's not a normal wheelchair. Um, it's actually a child size. Uh, I'm a 59 year old male. I weigh 140, 143 pounds as of uh, two days ago. Now, my wheelchair, oops, let me spin it some. There we go. My wheelchair is a 16 inch, which is from the inside of this rail right here to the inside of this rail right here. Overall, from outside rim to outside rim, uh, or what they call the hand rolls, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with, is 21 and 3 quarter inches. Now, the reason why I have such a thin wheelchair is because oops, 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 oops. There we go. Woohoo, I'm back. Um, it's because I live in an older mobile home and the doorways are narrow. Very narrow. <coughs> um, with the doors in place, in other words, on their hinges, um, there is approximately 21... 21 and a quarter inches, so I have to kind of ram my way through, and I have to make sure that I'm lined up dead into the door, or the slightly off to the side, away from the swinging door. Um, well, pointed off to the side, I should say. Um, exercise is a great thing, uh, especially for amputees. Uh, and for double BK or AK amputees, upper body strength is a must. There's no way around it. Uh, after you're discharged from the hospital, give yourself mm, about a month, two months to heal. And uh, if you haven't started already, start learning to butt walk. Uh, by butt walk, Again, I've got to point the camera down. I do apologize for that. Just down here to the table edge. Now, if you, you'll you notice that I do wear a skirt. <coughs> I only use that here in the uh, house. Uh, as it helps facilitate using the bedside toilet. Uh, if I go out and about, I do have shorts on. Again, even if it's winter time, I have shorts on. Again, that is to help me facilitate using my, using the bathroom. Uh, now, what I mean by butt walk, or what I call stump walk, Ugh, this is hard to do up here. But, as you can see, double BK. Um, I do have my shrinkers on. I do have my liner liners on. Now, my personal choice, I pull the liner back up instead of having it travel up my side. Uh, that's just my uh, preference. Now, what I mean by, whoops, lock this, always remember, lock your wheelchair. <laughs> but, a good exercise is to do wheelchair sit-up, or push-up. This builds everything 
from your uh, deltoids, uh, your bicep, your forearm muscles, your wrist muscles, moreover, your hamstring. When I started this back in uh, August, yeah, about mid-August, I actually discovered this on YouTube uh, through another channel. Um, I don't have his permission to link here yet, so I won't. <coughs> but um, it was a prosthetic, prosthetics channel. Uh, very good man. A lot of good information. Once I have permission to uh, post his, or to copy his videos to my channel, I will. Uh, it'll be under, um, uh, the channel, uh, sorry, gotta log in real fast. I don't remember what the folder is called. <coughs> but considering I'm using Firefox Plus, it uh, doesn't take long to log in, even with my old computer. I built this uh, desktop uh, mid-range tower back in 1985. And uh, it's just now getting down to two cores out of the quad core that I started with, so I do apologize for that. <coughs> uh, sorry about coughing like that. Um, but uh, let's see. Uh, da -da 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 Yeah, I know, and dead air, and I hate dead air myself. I really do. Um, it's under the. It'll most of my videos will be posted under the folder my trials. Uh, that's my trials, tribulations, uh, problems I've encountered, uh, workarounds, all kinds of decent stuff. Um, one of the main things I've had problems with is cooking. Um, I had nobody to teach me. Um, I watched a couple of YouTube videos and they helped as far as uh, uh, how how to use an electric stove uh, while in a wheelchair, uh, how to carry things between my uh, upper thighs without burning myself, and one of the things that helps with that, and I suggest you all go either to a department store like uh, Walmart or Lowe's, um, about anywhere, really. Well, not anywhere, but any good department store, even Roses, uh, or if you have them, um, like Sam's Club or whatever, is pot holders. Now, the ones I have have a pocket here. Uh, that's so that I can actually use it as an oven mitt if I need to, or I can hold it a pot here and grab it or paint, uh, frying pan. Um, I have, I bought a set of these at Dollar General. Uh, I think, I think they were like $3.95 roughly. Uh, these are a decent cloth. They're good thick. Good and thick. Um, later on when I show you my, pro my right prosthetic, how I put it on, I'll there's my cat, Bon Bon. Uh, she's about two years old. She's my uh, support animal. She's unregistered, so I can't really take her in to, like, 
grocery stores or any place like that. <coughs> uh, sorry about that. Um, I can take her into PetSmart with me and uh, places like that, though, so, and tractor supply, so that's no problem. When I take her out, I have a hard side uh, carrying case that I use. Now, over here, you'll see my uh, an old crutch. I actually got that from King's Daughter's Thrift Store. I don't know why there wasn't two. There, it was only one. It was like uh, 95 cents that I paid for. Maybe a dollar 95. I'm not really sure. Uh, it has been almost a year since I got, uh, my uh, domestic partner got it for me. My better half, domestic partner, uh, future wife, uh, however you want to call it. But I use that to reach out things on the deck and pull it towards me so then I can bend over and grab it. Uh, as far as bending over in a wheelchair, the first time I did it, no, let me back up. The first time after I got home, um, I came home by uh, medical transport. They put me in my bed, which is a, a full-size bed. Um, wheelchair was next to me. <coughs> and on the left side over here that you'll see, um, it's kind of broken a little bit, so I actually use a hair tie to hold it down. These are the best things anybody has ever made. And I'll put it over here so you all can see it. It's just a round, stretchy hair tie. Uh, works really great, uh, especially if you too fat in the gut for your pants or jeans or shorts, it works great. So you put it through the belt loop, double it back through like that, you cinch it tight, the other part goes around your uh, button or buckle, <coughs> however you do it. Anyways, I had lifted up this side. Uh, the bed was right here, I mean, dead up against the side of it and I was getting out and I hit this side too hard and fell over. That wasn't fun. I actually uh, cracked my hip. Back down. But um, I've since learned I keep a distance about, about this far in between the wheelchair and the bed, especially sideways. Now, uh, one thing I do do, if I do not have my prosthetic on, and that is I stump walk, or what I call, what you might would consider butt walk, like you do in a dim's chair. You know, you just kind of whoop, 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 right on out, or down and out. This is similar but different, and it does require thigh strength, hand and wrist strength, uh, hand for gripping, wrist for stability. It requires forearm strength, your bicep, and your uh, muscles down here, and your core muscles. Now, this is also a very good exercise. You put it up here. And stump walk is literally, well, I'll start here at the end. You take a little step, take a little step, take a little step, take a little step. Now, the exercise that is good is called wheelchair arm press. And you literally get yourself situated, make sure your brakes are on. Always important. Make sure your brakes are on, otherwise you're going to fly backwards. And... Get a good hand, usually try to be in line with your core body, and just, whoops. Okay, I had to get a little bit farther so my knees are actually right here along the edge of the table. And you just up, down, 
up to the full extension of your arms and back down. This, these, whoops, these you will want to do, start out with a repetition of 10 rest for about 10 minutes. It's called a 10, 10, 10. Uh, it was shown to me by a physical therapist that I had. In-home physical therapist. Uh, because with my insurance, I could not go to physical therapy at like a hospital or um, through a private physical ther therapy place. Uh, the 10, 10, 10 is 10 reps, 10 minutes, a break, 10 more reps, that's it, for 10 hours. Um, I guess you could actually call it the quad 10. Now, um, what I use, and sorry folks, I'm kind of flaking, um, I screwed up. I'll be the first to admit, I've always been a little bit different when I screw up, I admit I screw up. Um, I thought I was using skincare and like a dummy. I didn't read. Always read. What I was actually using, using was body, uh, body soap. I thought it was lotion. I rubbed it, put it on, uh, with gloves. I used, uh, just regular plastic, uh, vinyl exam gloves. Um, I can't use latex. I'm allergic to it. Um, used not to be until, uh, May of this year. Uh, May 20th to be exact. When I went in the hospital, a uh, doctor touched me with, uh, latex. No. It was a surgical assistant. Attack, uh, touched my uh, left leg with latex gloves and I instantly welped up and I started itching like it's almost like using the devil's toilet paper uh, if you know what that is great you're as old as I am if not it's nettle leaves nettle a nettle is a type of plant that has very very fine hair on it it almost looks uh, it almost looks like a hairless dog or cat. Um, they're not really uh, hairless, but they do uh, sting like the dickens. <laughs> um, you're home. Anyways, folks, um, what I was saying before about my better half, that's her right there. She just got home from her shift at 7-Eleven. Uh, uh, and uh, nettles are not fun. Uh, I don't know. People from my generation know what it's like to have... Uh, like Bengay or some kind of sports cream put in your underwear or a jock cup, especially during gym class or before gym class. <coughs> and uh, it's a hundred times worse than that. A hundred times worse than that. But, um, again, I'm not sponsored by these people. Um, I do like their product though. One is the Hawaiian Punch. Uh, I get the variety pack. It's got the Fruit Juicy Red, the Blue Moon Typhoon, and the Wild Purple Smash. Like a grape juice. Uh, also, being a type 2 diabetic, I drink Diet Pepsi. No sugar. As, uh, I've checked myself with a meter before and an hour after drinking a full thing of Diet Pepsi, there is no difference in my sugars, which is good. But 
if you're still kind of newer to the amputee scene, if, whether it's a BK, an AK, which is above the knee, uh, hand, forearm, whole arm, the one thing you want, and a lot of people can't do this, but the one thing you do definitely want to do is have an intake of, uh, yeah, she's talking to me, but you want an intake of raw protein, uh, chicken, turkey, very lean meats, uh, like steaks. If you're going to get a steak, at least 85 to 90 percent lean, higher if you can stand it. Um, many years ago, my teeth uh, decalcified, and I had to have them pulled, hence why the beard, because without it, I look like Gimpy. Um, in future videos, I will be talking about other things, um, mostly amputee related as, as to me, uh, things I have found, uh, things that worked for me, things that have not worked for me. Uh, the uh, stump walk that I showed you works great if you're in a wheelchair. Uh, say this is your bed, uh, the side nearest the middle of the room, the side nearest the wall, hopefully against the wall. Take your wheelchair, come straight onto your bed, you put your legs up on it like this, and you walk. Uh, you press up, like I showed you that exercise, and as you do that, you walk yourself up on to your, where your butt is firmly against on the bed, enough that when you let go of your wheelchair, you won't roll backwards. Uh, that's not a good thing. I've done it once. I learned. Also, uh, for those of you who use an uh, BCS, uh, bedside toilet, <coughs> sorry, BSC. Oh, tired, sorry. I've been up 30 straight hours. Uh, part of that is from my depression, uh, which I do suffer from. Um, I'll get into that down the road uh, right now, though. Uh, once, and I, I have to have someone help me with the toilet. Uh, I can't position it behind me and be, in, be on the bed at the same time. <coughs> I am working on that, but I haven't quite worked it out in my mind yet. Uh, once I find a solution to that, I will be sure to let you know and possibly show it. Well, no, I won't be able to show you. I'd have to remove my computer and everything else in there. <laughs> Not good. But, uh, you can walk into the bed off your wheelchair. Um, my wheelchair, which is a drive, made by Drive, D-R-I-V-E, uh, from the handles has the down, uh, comes out and then turns down to where the handles lock into the frame. Um, coming off of the bed, I will grab those, I push up, and I slide back into the chair. Uh, <coughs> uh, like I said, I am a 59-year-old male. Uh, I have been out of work since roughly July 22nd last year, a uh, long time, uh, I'll be actually looking forward to getting back to work as soon as I can, uh, I go next week, uh, the first week of August, I think it's August 3rd, uh, to get my left prosthetic and to have my right cross the pole on my right uh, prosthetic or pylon 
uh, shortened by an inch. Uh, the reason for that is in 1983, when I left high school, I was six foot three. Oh, I was a tall son. But when all of this started, I was six foot zero inches. Uh, the prostation, my prostation, Scott, very wonderful man. And once I get uh, permission from him, I will do some filming with my cam uh, the camera on my phone. And... Uh, upload it along with it, along with these videos. Um, I just don't want to do it without his permission first. Um, some people are camera shy, some people aren't. Uh, I'm not sure about him, but it does, it would affect him and his practice. Um, I can't say enough good things about Scott to warrant being underrate, underrated. Uh, he's a really good guy. He doesn't talk over my head. He actually brings it down to my level. He knows that I have some medical background knowledge. Uh, from where my mother was an RN for many, many decades. And she taught me what she knew. But anyways, for now, folks, that's all, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of here for tonight. May all of you stay safe. Thank you for joining my channel. Um, if you know anybody who uses prosthetic or will be undergoing a prosthetic, uh, amp or sorry, an amp a BK or an AK amputation, or arm amputation, please tell them about my channel. Uh, I will have, once I have permission from other channel owners, I will be linking their channels into my channel. Uh, if in name, if in nothing else, name only. Or YouTube link. Uh, there's a couple that I do follow. They're really excellent prosthetians. Uh, and uh, prosthetic users. Uh, there's this one woman that I follow. She's wonderful. Uh, she started out as a BK and then went to an AK uh, amputation. So may she continue doing well. Uh, again, thank you for joining my channel. Adios. Sayonara, and Domo. Uh, thank you.